Hi everybody and welcome back to day three of Christmas Cards with the Cricut. Today's card is going to be a quick and simple card that looks like this. So come on and join me and I'm going to show you how you can make this quick and easy card. Okay everybody, so I'm going to go ahead and bring up the supplies so we can get started on day three. So now, my card measures 8 inches by 4 and a quarter inches, and I've taken it and scored it in half to make it a 4 inch by 4 and a quarter inch card. And the other thing that I've gone ahead and done is I've gone ahead and inked my edges using the new um, winter color, the Tim Holtz Distress Ink Evergreen Ball. Now these, um, the winter collection comes with three these three colors and I picked this up at my local scrapbooking store. I haven't seen them in Michaels or Joann's but that's nothing unusual. There's a lot of things that my Michaels and Joann's don't have and probably never will. But the three colors are Festive Berries, Ice Spruce, and then the Evergreen Bow. So we'll go ahead and add um, our next layer and this is my um, top layer and this paper measures four inches by three and three quarter inches and I got this paper this is a DCWV sorry I was mistaken this is a can company Brenda Walton and it looks like this and I actually got this at I believe it was big lot and it was on sale right after Christmas it was like $1.99 for the whole paper pack so and it has some really pretty papers in here and the thing I like about this paper pack is it is double sided so we're going to be using that as our um, top layer here so I've already gone ahead and inked my edges and the other thing I've done is taken my um, proper dial corner chomper and I've gone ahead and chomped on each one of my edges and this time I used the cloud um, side and this corner chomper in case I've, I've said this once before and I'm sorry for this glare if you have purchased this and you're not sure how to use it in order to get the corner to chomp you must open this like this and then you can slide your paper inside so let's go ahead and add our layer and I'm just going to go ahead and this paper is like I said double sided so I'm just going to go ahead and add use my um, Tombow adhesive for this and just get some paper going all the way across or tape rather and I'm going to open up my card and then I'm just going to go ahead and line this up and add it to the card. And because I'm not adding any ribbon, I can just go ahead and adhere it to my card. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and put together our circle and our scallop circle. So now the scallop is from the close to my heart cartridge you'll find that I'm going to be using that cartridge a lot for my Christmas cards because I really like this cartridge this is becoming one of my favorites next to the flower shop cartridge so the scallop is on page 31 and it looks like this and I've gone ahead and what I've done for this is because I wanted the circle to fit inside. So on my gypsy, let me go ahead and bring that up. The scallop is key number 11 and it looks like this. So what I've done is I've first of all taken off the aspect ratio button and I've also done the real dial size button which is over here 
And the reason why I did this is because I wanted this circle to be three and three eighths. So I put in for the height 3.38 and for the width 3.38. And I came up with that measurement because I also have the Spellbinders die that's a scallop. And I took one of my scallops and measured the inner from one side to the other side. And that's what it came out to be. So that's what I put in in the Gypsy. I could have just gone ahead and used the Spellbinders die. But I was trying to do everything using my Cricut. So if you don't have the um, Gypsy, then you can go ahead. If you do have the Spellbinders die, you can go ahead and just take your Spellbinders die and cut that instead. Now for my circle, I went ahead and did the same thing. I took the aspect ratio button off and I took the, I put the real dial size on. And I made my height 3 inches and my width 3 inches. And the same thing, you can if you have the circle spellbinder die, you can use that instead. So there's always a way to do this where you don't have to have a Cricut or a Gypsy. So now, what I'm going to do is, the circle... And I don't know if anybody else has been having this problem, but ever since I did the last update for my Gypsy, every now and then when I go to search for a particular image on my cartridge, on my Gypsy, what happens is when I go to pick the image, like I'm doing here, so I got to make sure I get and I choose my image, it says it's on the, the close to my heart cartridge, my Gypsy will reboot itself. So I'm going to have to contact them to find out um, why that's happening. I can't afford to have anything go wrong with this with all the Christmas cards that I have to make. So the circle is actually on page 11 and it looks like this. And that's actually key number one on your um, Gypsy. The other thing I want to talk about real quick before we finish putting the card together is I had one of my subscribers, her name is Valerie, hi Valerie, that wanted to know how do I know what cartridge I want to use or when I'm looking for a particular image, how do I find it because she has several um, Cricut cartridges just like I do. To find your image, you can go ahead and click, click the, or I think I'm on a computer when I said click. Take your stylus and go to the little Cricut bug with the magnifier and just click on that. And it's going to take you to a search box. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. So now I have a little search box here. I'm going to click, excuse me, I work with computers all day, so I'm constantly saying click or shift or whatever. You're going to take your stylus and point to the little keyboard here, and then it will bring up a keyword search. So for instance, if I wanted to search for a cartridge that has a circle on it, I would type in the word circle. And then I'd click OK or touch the word OK. And then it gives you all the different types of options for a circle. And like, for instance, it says banner circle, banner hair circle, bat card circle. So then you just go down and find what it is that you're looking for. So let's just say I'm looking for just a scallop circle. So I would click on scallop circle. And it, then what it does is it brings up all the images that have the scallop circle. Now, I know that there's more out there, so you just kind of have to kind of play with it till you find what you're looking for. So, Valerie, that's how I find my images. I just go in and I touch that um, little cricket bug with the microphone, which is right down here in the corner. 
So let's get back to making our card. And I'm going to zoom back. I don't mean to make you dizzy. And we're going to go ahead and talk about the rest of our card. So now I've gone ahead and inked my edges once again with the evergreen bow. And I'm going to go ahead and add my circle to that. So let's move our card to the side for a minute. And we're going to just go ahead. And I've also inked the edges as well with this one. And we're going to add this. Now, as I said before, this paper is double-sided. So I'm going to get some tape on my circle. And I'm going to go ahead and line it up. This cardstock here is some coordination um, cardstock. And then I'm just going to lay it down like so. Okay, now that I've got that on there, the next thing I want to do before I attach this to the card is I want to go ahead and put my little Santa hat on. So let's talk about the cartridge that the Santa hat came from. That Santa hat is from the Joy of the Seasons cartridge. And I used this one quite a bit last year when I did the um, Christmas card series. So the Santa hat is on page 47, and it looks like this. So I've cut out the Santa hat, and then I cut out the layers. So now, on your gypsy, that is key number 16. So let's go ahead and we'll go to that cartridge. So we're at that cartridge and now we're at key number 16. So that's what the Santa hat looks like. I'm sorry about that. So that was cut out at, let's see. Let me look. That was cut out at two inches. And then I went ahead and I cut the layer. And to cut the layer, you're going to go ahead and hit the layers button. And then you'll cut out or press key 16 again. I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep going off camera. And there you have it. So now, once I've put this all together, and the paper that I use for the red part of the hat is from this Tis the Season cardstock stack, and this is a DCWV. And then the um, cream color cardstock was just some scraps that I had left over. The other thing that I did for his hat was I wanted to make it a little fluffy down here at the bottom and at the pom-pom. So I took my snow maker pen and painted this on the bottom part of the hat and the pom-pom. And then I let that dry and then I heat set it. So it kind of pop puffs up a little bit. So I've gone ahead and popped this up on some foam tape. So I'm going to take the backing off the foam tape and... Actually, I think before we add this, I want to go ahead and add the circle to the card. Now, I do want to pop the circle up on some foam with some foam tape. So, I'm going to go ahead and get some foam tape on my circle real quick. And then we're just going to go ahead and add this to the card. And then we will add the Santa hat. So, I'm going to snip and cut this in half and then I'm going to put a piece right there so let's go ahead and take the tape off which I seem to always have a problem with and then we're going to add our scallop to our card just got one more piece here and there we go. So now I'm going to open up the card and 
we're going to place our circle down. And this cardstock here was just the reverse of this right here. So there, I've got it all down and it's just popped up just a little bit. Now we can go ahead and add our Santa hat that we've also got popped up on some foam dots or foam tape. So I'm going to take the backing off of that and then we're going to go ahead and add the Santa hat in the center. So I'm just going to place it right there in the center. So now the last thing I'm going to go ahead and add to the card is I'm just going to add this little stocking. Now this stocking is, I got this last year at Michael's when they were um, getting rid of their Christmas stuff. So it's one of those um, celebrated Christmas felt stickers. And I think it was marked down to 25 cents. So, and it has several little stockings in the package, and they look like that. So, I just want to put that over or up here in the corner, about right there. And I think what I need is, I think I need some more um, foam tape on there so it can sit up. So let me get some more foam. I don't want to use the actual foam tape. I'm going to use my foam dots. Okay, everybody. So I found my foam dots and I've added them to the stocking. And I'm just going to put this right here in the corner like so. So that's it, everybody. That's card number three of the series. Thanks for watching, everybody. And come back for day four of Christmas Cards with the Cricket. Bye!